For the setup of your mini museum, you're going to need your 11 inch square, and that's going to be the base of your structure, the floor. And then you're gonna have a 20 inch long uh, rectangle. This is the walls. So what you're gonna to wanna to do is you're gonna to wanna to <clears throat> take your ruler, line it up with the edge, and mark it every five inches. And I would do this along both sides, so then I'm just lining my ruler up with that mark I just made. And I'm going to make another five inch, line it up at the end right there, mark it at another five inch, and then I'm just gonna check that my other one is five inches, and it is. Then I'm gonna come in and I'm gonna do it at the bottom so that I have nice straight lines. So from the end to here, five inches, make sure it's lined up with the one above it, five inches, um, then I'm going to get ready to fold it along those lines. You could um, also draw the line if it makes you more comfortable. I'll go ahead and draw mine in. <clears throat> so line your little, your ruler up with both little lines. Draw the line. Line it up. Draw the line. You should end up with three lines drawn and this will give you four wall sections. And then I'm gonna go ahead and very carefully fold it. Make sure you're right on that line. Oops, I'm already off the line there. Maybe I'll do it this way. Maybe I'll put my hand here, or maybe, let's see if this would work. What if I put my ruler against it? And then, ooh, that works nice. Put your ruler inside along that line. Fold it, boop-a-doo, perfect. And then I can really fold it down, take the ruler out, make sure it's level, because I have it a little off. Down here it's a little too high, so I'm gonna go ahead and just try to level that out real quick. Okay, that's pretty good, because we don't want my walls to be crooked. All right, I'm gonna try that again, I like that. Put the ruler in there, right along your line. You can work with someone if you need help doing this. It's a little complicated to get it to bend. And then once you have it kind of laid over, make sure it's lined up. Take that ruler out and secure that line. Okay, and I have one more to do, so I'm gonna go ahead and do that. Again, if you need somebody to help you out, have them help you out. That can be me, that can be a friend. Line the ruler up. Grab the side of the wall. Ah. Whoops. Go ahead and push it to that ruler and fold. And I want to make sure that edge is going to be lined up. So I'm going to go ahead and line it up here and then commit to that fold. All right. And that's going to give you the ability to have walls that are going to go on to your base. So there's my walls. You don't want to attach anything together until you have finished adding all your features, but the concept behind it is that this is your floor and then you're going to position your walls on to your floor eventually. Let me, I'm going to move my phone here so that you have something that looks like that. And again, you want to do all the decorating of your walls, what furniture you're gonna place, where your doorway perhaps is going to go, but you're gonna have the ability to have a couple different galleries, museum galleries. So you're gonna need to decide what's going where on all of your walls. And you have about eight walls that, to work with here. So think about how you're gonna do them. Are some gonna have pictures? Some gonna have sculptures in front of them? What designs are gonna go on the walls? Um, you can look at the reference image in the examples um, as far as kind of what it's gonna look like, but it's of course it's gonna look like your own, so it's gonna be quite different. I'm gonna go ahead and put a doorway in one of these and you can do whatever shape doorway you want. I'm gonna do a nice arch to make it really interesting. 
You could even leave it kind of in the in the poster board so that it could swing if you wanted to, if it was a regular door. And then I'm gonna go ahead and cut that out. For your artworks, I would probably do those separately from the poster board and then attach them make little frames for them this is an art gallery so it's not just going to be something stuck to the wall without a frame so think about the frames you're going to make for your artwork how you're going to do that as far as sculptures since you do have to make sculptures for this project as well i do have wire you can make sculptures out of paper you can make sculptures out of air dry clay um, you just need to come up with the idea you need to start drawing things out you definitely need to have kind of an artist of inspiration. Let me crease this a little bit. Um, and you need to have a really full plan to kind of know what you're going to do for your project. So there we go. I created my little doorway through to one of my other rooms. Could I include other little doorways? Sure. If I really wanted to, I absolutely could. So go ahead and start with the structure of your project. Um, and Again, we're not attaching these pieces together first. I would need to do all the floor. Is it gonna be a checkerboard floor? Is it gonna be a wood floor? What's the floor going to look like? Is it gonna have rugs in some areas? I'd probably do the floor um, with this kind of positioned on top initially so you can see where things are gonna go. If it's all just gonna be something like a wood floor, that's fine. You can go ahead and remove this piece and do the whole wood floor and then we'll glue this down once we're done adding all the decorations. But if you're gonna do things where you might place like an area rug here, maybe it's a checkerboard floor and you're gonna do rugs in certain locations, set this on top of it so that you know and you can kind of map out on your big piece of poster board where you might place like the rugs or things. Um, and then don't glue any of this together until the very end. That way we can easily store it in your table folder just laying down. All right, let's start the structure.